All right. Well, anyway, look into the. Are you rolling? I'm rolling. Oh, Hi. Okay. Uh, Boston Christopher, B O S T I N Christopher, C H R I S T O P H E R. You've never forgotten your spelling. That's, that's encouraging. I know. Yeah. So uh, tell me a little bit about the show. Um, I mean, I know it's a, it's a plum roll. Uh, Neil Simon's The Odd Couple is an amazing, awesome, wonderful piece of theater that um, not many people get to see. Um, it's not done uh, as by regional theaters as much as it was when it first came out. It's 50 years old. I play the role of Oscar Madison, who is the, um, you know, they call him the slob or they call him the, you know, the messy one. But, you know, back in 1965, that was a little bit different. You know, I mean, he still was a professional man. He still knew how to dress. Um, uh, he just was, you know, um, uh, well, I'll just start that over a little bit. Um, he knew how to dress, but, you know, he's sort of gone downhill because his wife has left him. He's been living in this big eight-room apartment in, uh, on the Upper West Side, on Riverside, for six months, and um, he's just let the place go. He's let himself go. He's let the place go. He's, um, he's tragically lonely, and, of course, the best clowns come from tragedy, right? right. So um, that's what makes the play so funny. And the interplay between um, the two characters, of course, Felix, Oscar and Felix, um, you know, the, di the, the duality of them, you know, but then how they learn how to cope with each other and, um, and then all the other various characters in the play, the poker players and the, the pigeon sisters and all that great fun stuff that just really makes the play funny. And Neil Simon, let me say this, Neil Simon knows how to write a joke. He knows how to set it up. He knows how to pay it off. And the audience has a great time. Oh, boy. Yeah, his, uh, yeah, his, and, and his, just to say his words line for line is just hilarious. Well, he knows, you know, it's interesting because he'll say something like, you know, there's a scene where we actually are on this couch, and he says, you know, um, I say something like, um, you know, what, he says, what did you say? And I said, what do you mean, what did I say? And, and so it, he repeats inside the, the, this is a little probably too much inside, but, you know, he, he sets it up by having the characters repeat what the other character just said, but then there's a payoff joke right after that. So it's sort of, a, it's, a, it's a form of writing that you don't actually see much anymore. Yeah, you don't. Um, it's not something that um, is, uh, is, uh, is, is um, popular as, as, once, as it once was. And, um, but these plays are hysterically funny. And there's also a little bit of, um, you know, there's a bit of, of uh, humanity in it. You know, these guys are both, um, you know, they've both been divorced, and divorce was also not a huge thing in 1965. I mean, it was, it was getting there, but not as much as it is today. Yeah. And, um, and the, idea, uh, the idea of two men living together, bunking up after uh, they've been separated from their wives, that's also something that was really new. And so there's, I mean, divorce, you got, you're getting divorced? Oh, my, you know, that was a huge thing. Now it's like, eh, you're getting divorced. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's uh, um, yeah. Um, what's your shoe size? No, uh, <laughs> where, uh, where, where were you when you were? Oh, oh. yeah, the, it was sort of a, a planned thing with Perseverance. Like, we knew we were going to do this, and I knew I was going to play Oscar. And um, so it was sort of a package deal in a way. Um, and, it was, and it was great because uh, I've had the opportunity over the last few years at Perseverance to play some amazing roles. Yeah, you have. You know, Lenny and Of Mice and Men. I did an Iliad last fall. And um, what's great about this play is it's just so much fun. It's just fun. I haven't been able to have fun on stage like this in terms of the comedy and the laughter and, and, the, and the sort of play with all the other actors in the show. And um, I haven't been able to do that for a while. So it's been, um, that's probably my favorite part yeah. is being able to just play in, 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 a, in, a, in a play, in, in, a, in a show that is... Um, you know, it doesn't take itself too seriously. There are some really nice themes in it, but it's also, it's just so fun to play comedy and have the laughter from the audience. It's just, it's a joy. Oh, yeah. And I remember from The Odd Couple, having seen it in various incarnations, is it uh, the humanity? I mean, there's some moments in this play that are really quite touching. Yeah, absolutely. There's very, there's some, there are some majorly touching points in this play when the guys, you know, he really wants... You know, I mean, Oscar just wants to have a good time, right? He wants to find joy in his life again through this sort of disaster that happened. And, you know, when they, especially like talking about the date with the Pigeon Sisters, no. you know, and, and Felix is like, all right, all right, I'll go, I'll go. And Oscar's like, no, come on, this is really important. Like, I want you to really try and have a good time because you have to move on with your life, 
You know, basically that's what he's saying is you have to move forward. You got to put on your pants, get back up and go out there, you know. Um, and so it's a real sort of connection between these two gentlemen. And they both, you know, have some change at the end of the play. They both become a little bit better human beings um, through their relationship and through the things that they've gone through. Yeah, it's funny because in, the, in a play like this, it is, is kind of mad and, uh, and, and a, lot of, uh, a lot of just really goofy humor. There's definite arcs to these guys. I mean, oh, yeah, there's definite arcs, um, and they, they definitely have a journey through the play. I mean, it's a well-made play, if anybody... I mean, that's, that's a phrase in the theater of, like, meaning that it has a, a structure to it and that it, it pays off, and it's like there's no lingering, you know, sort of questions at the end. You really are happy at the end of this play. Um, and, and through that, through, through the comedy, you also have the touching moments, but then um, you've also just had a really wonderful time. Yeah. You, know, you as the audience member, you leave, you leave and you've just got a smile on your face and you've had a, you've had a really good time because a, a well-made a story has just been told to you. And there is an amazing amount of humor in the play and there's also, I mean, there's witty jokes and there's a lot of physical bits too. I mean, we get some major laughs on some physical bits with spaghetti and aerosol. I'll just leave it at that for now. Okay, don't give away the spaghetti and aerosol. Yeah, don't give away the spaghetti and aerosol. Although the combination sounds quite delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, yeah. So um, what, uh, what else do you want to tell us about the show? Um, fun stuff, um, buzzwords or buzz phrases? Or... Um, okay. Um, okay. There's an amazing cast in this play. It's all Alaskan actors. Um, and uh, most of them are from Juneau, although some have some roots in Anchorage, like myself. And it is just a blast. Jeff Hedges, Enrique Bravo, who you saw as Cat, sure. um, or Brick in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Um, Corin Hughes Scandies, who was up here in Anchorage with uh, Of Mice and Men. Um, uh, ben Brown, who's been in a number of shows. He was in Vanya and Sonia, Masha and Spike last right. fall. And then there's two new people, um, Olivia Shrum and Heather Laverne, who play the Pigeon Sisters, and they are amazing. Um, and they are the, 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 the English sisters um, who go on the date from hell with these two guys who are still trying to figure out their lives. They're some of the greatest uh, uh, shorter played characters in, in modern they, comedy. They are fantastic. And, I, and I'll say this, they're, they're, um, we had some friends in from, from England who saw it on opening night. And, uh, and they, they said that the girls' accents were spot on. They couldn't find one word. And that, that, was, that was really fantastic because they really are... They really embody these characters, and they are so funny, and it's just a joy to play with them on stage. That's incredible. Yeah, we just had a, 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 a talking with James. He's, uh, he's having a great time being mm -hmm. the Felix Boyle to you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's so fun. And, yeah, getting to work with James, uh, you know, it's sort of a, a, I mean, in a way, it's a, it's a two-person play with all these other characters that kind mm -hmm. of round it out and really make the world rich and alive. And, um, and James and I have... Uh, uh, a really fun chemistry. Um, at least that's what I've been told. It's not something that you can really decide that you have. It's right. just something that people observe and keep telling us, you guys really play well together. And, you know, you get good writing and some actors who, who, who have fun together, and you're going you're gonna to have a blast. Perhaps we should think of the stage version of uh, Butch and Sundance. The <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. It's, yeah. it's sort of like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what's interesting? I'll say this about The Odd Couple, too, is that when you think about... All the stuff you go see now, and it's a buddy cop movie, or it's a uh, you know it's some sort of setup like that on a sitcom. Whether if it's two characters, like I just was watching that movie with um, uh, Zach Galif Galifianakis and uh, and Robert Downey Jr., where they had to go on the road trip across the country. Oh, yeah. It's exactly the same idea as I mean, and Neil Simon created this idea of sort of the you know kind of the buddy the buddy show, you know, and it's really, I mean, I don't know if he created it, but he definitely mastered it before it became a thing that is now done over and over again. That's true. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's really pretty did. crazy because I, I can't think of things before that that were, well, I mean, I guess they're, that's not true. I'm totally lying because, of course, Laurel and Hardy, and Bud and, Abbott, and Abbott. And so, but it's like that, it's, the, it's that kind of um, really great relationship. So strike everything I just said because he didn't create it, but he really mastered it. Yeah, that was all wrong. Um, and one of the lovable things about, the, about this, this particular play with, that, with, with Felix and, and, and Oscar is if it's done properly, it's kind of reminiscent about, of, of, of uh, Stan and Ollie, Oliver Hardy, because even though there's this bickering and, and, and this, you know, this kind of attention, 
you still know that these guys genuinely care about each other. And you can yeah, they, see absolutely. That. I mean, he is my best friend, and yeah. you know, and they're and the, whether he drives you crazy or whether he doesn't, or you know, you, you in any relationship, you have your ups and downs, and at the end of the day, they're still friends, and um, but they've gone through these things that are just you know, they're these great characters inside these hilarious situations, and then you see how they come out of that, and it's it is a, it's a real fun thing to watch. It's a fun thing to be a part of. Whoops. It's a fun thing to be a part of, and I hope it's a fun thing for people to watch. Yeah. Well, I'm hearing that it is, so I guess I'll be the judge of that here in the next couple of nights. <laughs> You're going to come more than once. Well, I'm at least going to come once. All right, good. Yeah, because I have to go see the other Neil Sutton. I have to. I want to go see the I other know. That, I, I realized that um, ACT is doing uh, the Sunshine Boys, and we opened on the exact same night. We run almost exactly the same schedule, so we're not going to be able to get out there. But I was like, it's like Neil Simon month in Anchorage. It really is. You know? It really is. You guys should just trade places with it. You guys go over to the Sunshine yeah, Boys for a weekend. Yeah, that'd be great. It, they're fantastic. I mean, it's such a... Neil Simon is a fantastic writer, and if you haven't gone out and seen one of his plays um, in a while, this, this make, make a date to go to both of them, because they're just both fantastic yeah, plays. Yeah, absolutely. You can't go wrong with that. Yeah. I mean, it's always touching, but it's always hilariously funny. Yep. So tell us uh, what night you're playing and how to get tickets. We run through the 26th of April. We run Wednesday through Sunday with evening performances Wednesday through Saturday at 7.30. Sunday's at 4, which is a, a different matinee time for Anchorage. Um, and, of course, you can get tickets at, uh, you know, ptalaska.org or 263arts or any of the other various forms of ways of getting tickets to events here in the lovely Alaska Center for the Performing Arts. And it is a lovely place, and we're just happy to be here. We are happy to be here. Yeah, it's fun to play on these stages. Hey! Hi, well, Ben. Um, That's Ben Brown. I remember Ben Brown. He plays Roy. Roy He's the one who complains about oh, the, God, um, right. you know, the, sten the stench in the apartment all the time. That's all he ever yeah. complains about. But then when it's clean, then he complains that it's not, um, that it's too clean. So yeah. Yeah. he's like Goldilocks. Yeah, 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 that's, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, Ben Brown starring as Goldilocks. Yeah, that's an outtake for you. Wrap it up? Yeah, wrap it up, he says. Okay, we're, we're wrapping it up. Anything else we need to know from us, Andrew, for Fox? Yeah. Um, if you had to say to one, in one sentence to someone who wasn't really familiar with Neil Simon, but you wanted to get them out to see the show, what would you say to them? Um, hysterical buddy romp. Uh, no, I guess you needed to be more than that. You needed to be like pitched in a soundbite. What did James say? Did you ask him that question? Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, I would say, um, uh, yeah, I would say that The Odd Couple is a hilarious comedy that will keep you in stitches all night long. And there we go. We good? Cut. It's hard to Thank say it in one sentence, but. Thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah man, absolutely. Thank you.